twist a little everyone and welcome to the lesson seven uh, of intermediate reading class of psychology chapter one examining the wise so today we're going to discuss the eighth verse the seventh verse was already uh it was uh we've already discussed it and uh meaning that it was already used in our previous lesson. So uh, we're going to study the eight verse. And before we go to the actual lesson, uh, I will recite the verse of dedication. So with this, uh, as a sign of auspiciousness, we will begin today's class. The translations will be available with the uh, PDF and the PowerPoint files that will be sent later. Okay, so I hope everyone is able to hear me clearly. Sange kunge mo la mala o kiel polo kula tuji si chungju mato parto macho ma thabe lamsho tempar chingelo. So. Uh, which means that uh, Guru, who is the embodiment of all the, who is the embodiment of all the Buddhas of three times, Okul means us. So it's a, uh, it's an old Tibetan term, and some, and it's also used in. Uh, the original dialect, uh, most in the uh, northern part of Tibet. Mukul means us, Puluk means students, or the uh, or in the practice of Dharma, known as the Dharma Sun. So Mukul Puluk Yuna Tujesi, please gaze upon us with your compassionate, uh, with your compassionate uh, eyes or with your compassionate vision. And may we never be separated from you until we attain the enlightenment. And please uh, bless us with the guidance uh, of, uh, please bless us with the guidance towards the path of liberation. So this is the verse of dedication that we have today. And now uh, we will begin with today's lesson. Uh, it will be like usual. I will read each syllable four times, each word four times, each line four times, and the entire verse four times, after which uh, we'll have someone reading after me. So in this class, we uh, we have uh, Evgeniela who will be reading after me. And then we'll see. Uh, if uh, we have more time, then we'll have someone else reading too. So, okay, so uh, let me begin with today's verse, verse 8, chapter 1, uh, Sakya Lekshe, examining the vice. Okay. Yun. 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 So let me also do a little bit of uh, character re reading so that you can actually observe the transition, the transition of the sound as it as I start adding the vowels and the suffix letters. So, ya, ya naru yo, ya naru yo na yun, ya, ya naru yo, ya naru yo na yun, ya, ya naru yo, ya naru yo na yun, yun, yun. Yun, yun, ten, 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 yun ten, yun ten, yun ten, yun ten, yun ten, yun ten, 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 na. Na, 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 dena, 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 dena. So also observe that when I'm reading two consecutive uh, letters which have similar sound, 
what I do is that I tend to uh, I tend to suppress the uh, emphasis over this suffix letter, and then I put more emphasis towards this uh, let uh, this particular syllable with the same letter that follows. And this is done normally when the word uh, which follows the syllable which follows is the same letter as the letter which is the suffix of the letter which comes prior to this. So for example, here the suffix letter is na, and then we have na as a singular letter which follows this. So instead of saying den na, which one can also do, but it is uh, for that one puts too much emphasis over the sound. And it, in a way, uh, creates an uh, unnatural pause between these two. So instead of dena, it becomes denna. So you see that when I try to emphasize the sound, there is an unusual, there is an unnatural pause that comes in between. So dena, so you see that instead of uh, putting too much emphasis on the na, I have tried, uh, what I have done is I have suppressed the emphasis, meaning that I tried to make it as subtle, meaning that's the sound of na. Instead of putting too much focus or emphasis towards these, uh, towards the sound na and pronouncing it then. If I was doing the syllable reading, I would produce it as, uh, pronounce it as, as den. But since I'm doing a word reading, so I will try to keep the emphasis uh, to a certain level that I can still retain that uh, natural flow, that natural flow and transition between each syllable. So, dena, 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 dena. Ke, 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 wo, 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 ke, wo, ke, wo, ke, wo, ke, wo, ke, wo, kun. Kun, kun, kun. Yunten dena keo 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 kun. So also observe that in this particular uh, word where I have na, what I'm doing is that instead of uh, emphasis, putting too much emphasis, uh, uh, emphasis on these, this pronunciation, meaning that instead of pronouncing it, uh, pronouncing it with great emphasis, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make the sound more smoother. So the transition from one word to the next would be much more smoother. So instead of where you can see that there is a, uh, a very meticulous uh, uh, flow. There is a very meticulous flow, meaning that you can see that the flow becomes very unnatural and it feels uh, that, that the flow doesn't feel very, uh, very smooth, rather it becomes a very sharp pause. So, you and then, then now, you can. 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 You and then, or you and then, when you read it in a, uh, as, as, as a word and you make a transition towards the second word. But if you're focusing, because since, uh, one must also focus greatly on the pronunciation, then one must, uh, in that case, one can read this entire line uh, as a syllable reading. So, yun, den, den, na, ke, wo, kun. So here we, we observe that what I'm doing is I'm putting extra emphasis on each sound. And this is uh, the syllable reading. And I'm doing this particularly so that I can, uh, uh, I can improve my pronunciation of each syllable. But as I move from syllable reading to uh, word reading, what I do is that I limit my, uh, I limit, uh, I limit 
the emphasis. I limit how much I emphasize on a particular uh, syllable. So, this is the word reading, and I'm reading it as a line. So you see that the flow is very much natural here. But if I want to focus, so the thing is that if I want to focus on the pronunciation, then I do the syllable reading. Yun, den, den, na, ge, wo, gun. So you see that I put extra emphasis here. And then uh, those who even want to make sure that their pronunciation are uh, actually exactly, exactly as it should be, then you can also do character reading. Ya, ya naro yo, ya naro yo na yun. Where you can observe with each character adding up, you can see the sound being changed with the addition of each, uh, each letter, each sound, and how each sound is capable of influencing the uh, foundation of name. So, you understand na keo kun. So here, I can emphasize because this is the last word of the uh, of the line. So I have the liberty to emphasize here. So you understand? Then I go kun ma 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 du 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 Madu, 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 Par, 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 Yang, 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 Par Yang, Par Yang, Par Yang. So this is a very good example on uh, observing the uh, observing uh, how when we transition from the syllable reading to the word reading, we are actually uh, limiting the emphasis or we are actually uh, decreasing the emphasis on particular syllable. So when when while I was pronouncing this in terms of syllable you can hear that I'm putting emphasis on the rolling R sound. So, par. You can see that I'm, uh, I'm giving it a certain degree of freedom when I'm pronouncing it, meaning that I'm giving it more, uh, more, time, to, uh, more time to stretch and go into the sound of R. So, par. But when I'm reading it as a part of a word, uh, the thing is that because of the uh, flow, the, the, the natural flow because of how the flow should be, it limits my ability to uh, emphasize on this very particular syllable. So therefore the sound will not be stretched or pronounced as uh, exaggerated as it will be pronounced in the syllable reading. So. So when I was reading it as a syllable, it was par. But now when it became a part of a uh, a part of a word, pariyang, pariyang, madu pariyang, rang, rang, ni, ni, ni. Ni, ni. So even though if uh, this is a syllable, we must understand that we should not over uh, emphasize, meaning that when we do the over emphasize of the sound, it becomes nit. So we should not over emphasize the sound, even though it's a syllable that we're reading, it should be ni when we have ta. So the over uh, but uh, the over uh, emphasis on the sound should not be there. So, rang, 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 ni, 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 
ни, жени, 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 ты, 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 мату парьян, жени ты, мату парьян, жени ты, мату парьян, жени ты. Мату парьян, жанни ту. Мату парьян, жанни ту. So when you feel that when you're reading it as a line and that some of the words are not pronounced uh, to the uh, to your uh, to the level that you're satisfied with, then you can do the syllable reading. So ма ту парьян, жанни ту. Ма ту парьян, жан Ni tu. So here we see that when we are reading it as a, when we are focusing it in uh, through the uh, syllable reading, we get more time to pronounce each syllable and with greater emphasis. And this helps us later in the word uh, reading because uh, join reading or word reading that we're seeing. So it helps us in join reading. Because we are now very, now we can pronounce particular syllable very well. Now the only thing is to make the transition as a word. So, madu parian rangi tu, madu parian rangi tu, ma tu parian rangi tu, madu parian rangi tu. And this flow that you see, it comes eventually. So as you read again and again, again and again, it comes eventually. And once it comes and once it sticks with you, uh, it's going to be natural with every other verse that you're going to read. So if you feel that even if you're able to pronounce it, but the flow is not happening, uh, you have to give it some time because it happens eventually. And once you're able to retain that flow, once you're able to read it in this flow, then the flow will uh, the flow will be consistent uh, throughout every verse that you read. So, Madu Paria Rangi Tu Ti 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 Ten 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 Ten. And another thing that I have to say is about the homonyms. So in Tibetan, we also have homonyms, meaning that uh, there are words which sound exactly the same, despite of having a very different spelling or combination of consonant and, uh, and vowels. But they uh, are capable of sounding very, very same. So the thing is that uh, they may sound the same, but the difference would be, uh, and the thing is that there is we might think that there might be a very subtle difference between uh, their pronunciation and uh, unfortunately, there is none. The fact is that they sound exactly the same. And these are homonyms and they occur in Tibetan also. For example, T, which here is Taratatakyuguti. We have the similar homonyms, which is Karatatakyuguti, which means the sword or the knife. And both of them have different spelling but both of them uh, sound similar. So therefore, uh, some of these words you will see that uh, will have similar, uh, similar uh, sound, but different meaning. So therefore there will be homonyms in Tibetan and it is very natural because we also have homonyms in English. So therefore similarly, there are in Tibetan. And the thing is that therefore it should be understood that though sometimes the very pronunciation helps us understand the spelling, but when it comes to homonyms, it tends to betray us, meaning that we're unable to understand the spelling through the, uh, through the uh, sound, but uh, by the context of the sentence. So T. T, 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 then, 
Ten. 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 Chitin. 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 And you can hear the transition when I was reading it in as a single syllable. And now when I'm reading it as a word, you can see the transition with the sound of na. So instead of then, it becomes te, chite. It becomes much more smoother sound. And that's uh, and less, less emphasized because I need to make the transition from here to here. Because if the, the sound of na is such that what it does is that when you pronounce it, with great emphasis, it tends to um, it tends to uh, give us the understanding that there is a pause after this because the sound is very very bold. It then we have a very strong sound, so it seems to cut in between. So they seem therefore there is an occurrence of a unnatural pause. So to avoid that, what we do is that when we read it as a word and we have to make a transition towards the next word, we make it a smoother sound. So, chite, 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 me, 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 to, to, to. Meto, 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 meto. Kyang, 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 kyang. Ring, 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 ring. Yang ring, yang ring, yang ring, yang ring. So let me do a catering of this. So this is ra, ra kata ga, ra kata ga eta gya, ra kata ga eta gyang la gyang. So please observe the uh, transition of the sound. Observe the change in the sound. So ra. Ra kata. So you see that without the ra, the sound would be ka. But now we add the ra at the top, so it becomes ra kata ga. It becomes ga. Ga. Ra kata ga. Now we see the transition when we add the footer letter. Ra kata ga yata kya. Ra kata ga yata kya. If it was simply ka, it would have been kya. Because the sound is ka. So kayata kya, rakata gayata 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 kya, rakata rakata gayata kya, rakata rakata gayata kya, rakata rakata gayata kya, rakata kya, kya, Yang, yang. So those of you who want to want to understand the transition, do the character reading. So ra ra kata ga, ra kata ga yata ya, ra kata ra kata ga yata yang na yang, ra ra kata ga, ra kata ga yata ya, ra kata ga yata yang na yang, yang. Ring, yang ring, yang, 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 yang ring yang, yang ring yang, yang ring yang, yang ring yang. Chite me to yang ring yang, 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 chite me to yang ring yang. Pung, 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 pung. 
wa 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 tin so let me do a character reading of this. Sa sapata pa. Sa sapata para ta ta. Sa sapata para ta ta ki puti. Sa sapata para ta ta ki puti na tin. Sa sapata pa. Sa sapata para ta ta. Sa sapata para ta ta ki puti. Sa Sapata para the track you could in Latin. Sa sapata pa. Sa sapata para the track. Sa sapata para the track you could in. Sa sapata para the track you could in Latin. Tin. Tin. Ka. Kaya the ka. Ka. Kaya the kakipuki. Ka kaya ta kya. Ka kaya ta kya ki pu ki. 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 Tin ki. Tin ki. Tin ki. Tin ki. Pung wa 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 tin ki. Wa tinky talk 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 shin 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 talk shin talk shin talk shin talk shin talk shin Hor, 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 hor. Pungwa tinki toshin 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 hor. Okay, now let me read the entire verse four times. Yun Okay, now before we go to the uh, English translation and uh, example uh, and the table of the new words. Uh, so today we have uh, Evgenia La who will be reading after me. So, Shidele. so uh, it will be like usual. So we will uh, repeat each syllable four times each word four time, each line four time, and finally, each verse four time. That's all. So uh, I hope that you are able to hear me clearly. Yes. That's all. Yun. 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 Ten. 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 
Yönten. 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 Den. 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 Na. 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 Tena. 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 You intend 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 tena. Ki. 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 Wo. 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 Ki 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 wo. Kun. 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 Yonten tena ke wo 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 kun. Ma. 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 Du. 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 Ma 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 du. Par. 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 Yang. 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 Par 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 yang. Ma du 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 par yang. Jang. 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 Ni. 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 Jang ni. Jangni. 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 Du. 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 Ma du parien jangni 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 du. Ti. 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 Den. 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 Chiten. 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 
Tüten. Tüten. Me. Ne. Me. Ne. Me. Ne. Me. Ne. Tok. Ne tok. Tok. Ne tok. 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 Ne 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 tok. Chiten 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 ne tok. Kiang. 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 Ring. 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 Kiang 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 ring. Kiang. 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 Ring. Ring. Kiang ring. Kiang ring. Yang. 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 Chiten meto kiang ring 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 yang. Kiang ring yang. Kiang ring yang. Chiten meto 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 kiang ring yang. Pung. 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 Wa. 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 Pung. 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 Wa. Pung. Wa. Pung. Wa. Pung. Wa. Pung. Wa. Pung. Wa. Jin. 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 Ki. 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 Pung wa jin 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 ki. Sok. 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 Shin. 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 Sok shin. Sok shin. Sok shin. Sok shin. 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 So uh, here we have to work on this because the last sound is na. And na. the current sound is coming as na. It's coming as shin. It should be shin with shin. na at the end. Na shin. at the end. Shin. Shin. Right. Shin. Shin. So we have the word shin. So instead of sha, we replace it with sha. So shin. 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 
Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Shin. Kor. 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 Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Unwa, Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Unwa, Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Unwa, Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Tinky, 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 Tinky. Unwa, Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Unwa, Tinky, Tokshin, Kor. Tinky. Tinky. Pua tinky toxin cor. Pua tinky toxin cor. Tinky. Tinky. Pua tinky toxin cor. Pua tinky toxin cor. Pua tinky toxin cor. Pua tinky toxin cor. Tinky. Uh, may I ask if it is the same or uh, same the, with the first or the third line? Three uh, and twin. Uh, which one? The third. Third the, line. The first three. Take a T. Uh, so this is T. T. This is T. T. T and T. T and T. T. Chi. 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 Ta. 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 Chi. Chi. Yes, chi. Mm -hmm. Chi. This is ta. 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 T. 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 So this is T and this is T. 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 So this makes the sound ta. Ta. T. Sapata para ta ta. So this, this, the, 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 the bass sound is ta here. Ta. T. Tin 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 This is the bass sound is ta so t t tin That's all. So I hope that you're able to uh, hear the difference. So, tin. This is T and this is T. So you can see the difference between the sound, right? T yes. and T. Lasso. Okay, so, uh, tin. Tin. Pua tinki tsokshin kor. Pua tinki tsokshin kor. A little bit subtle sound here. So uh, we make the sound of ka a little much more softer. Tok. Tok. Pua tinki tok shin kor. Pua tinki tok shin kor. So you can either pronounce it as pum or there is the alternative, which is which might be a little more uh, easier here. It is pum. So you make the sound more. Bolder, so boom. So instead of pungwa, you can say pungwa. 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 So this initially you can use this, but later try to make the sound much more softer. So from pungwa to pungwa. So pungwa. Pung. Pung. Pungwa. Yes, with the sound of ma. So pungwa tinki tsokshin kor. Pungwa. Tinky tok shin tok shin kor. Pungwa tinky tok shin kor. Pungwa tinky tok shin kor. 
Mua tinki soxin kor. Mua tinki soxin kor. Okay, so now we're going to repeat this four times. So uh, the sound that are uh, having a little problem, I will give feedback now. So uh, let us begin. Yunden tena keo kun. Yunden tena keo kun. Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Rangi. Rangi du. Okay, so we work on this now. Nya. Nya. Nya kyo kuni. Nya ki kuni. Nya ki kuni ta ni. 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 Rangi. 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 Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Chiten meto kyan rin yan. 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 Bungwa kyan ki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tring ki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tring ki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tring ki tsok shin kor. Pa. Pa. Pa shep kyo pu. Pa shep kyo pu. Pa shep kyo pu nga bung. Pa shep kyo pu nga pung. Wa. Wa. Pung wa. Pung wa. Pung wa. Pung wa. Mwa ting ki tsok shin kor. Mwa ting ki tsok shin kor. Mwa. Mwa. So the thing is that when we're pronouncing it together, what you're doing is you're putting too much emphasis on this, so it becomes mwa. But it has to be mwa. So it has to go, yes. So without a pause, mwa ting ki tsok shin kor. Mwa ting ki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tinki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tinki tsok shin kor. Bungwa tinki. Bungwa tinki. So in the entire line, you should not pause at a particular sound. So bungwa tinki. So tinki should come together. Bungwa tinki tsok shin kor. 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 Yonten tena keo kun. Yonten tena keo kun. Madu pariang rang ni tu. Madu pariang rang ni tu. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Pungwa tingki tso shin kor. Pungwa tingki tso shin kor. Yonten tena keo kun. Yonten tena keo kun. Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Yonten tena keo kun. Yonten tena keo kun. Madu parian rangi du. Madu parian rangi du. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Chiten meto gyan rin yang. Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Pungwa. 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 Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Pungwa tinki tso shin kor. Yonten tena keo kun. Yonten tena keo kun. Madu parian rang ni du. 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 Chiten meto kyan rin yang. 
Triten meto yang rin yang. Triten meto yang rin yang. Triten meto yang rin yang. Bua jengki tsok shin kor. Bua jengki tsok shin kor. Yunten te na keo kun. Yunten te na keo kun. Madu pariyan rang ni du. Madu pariyan rang ni du. Triten meto yang rin yang. Triten meto yang rin yang. Okay, so uh, some of the words that you need to work is uh, so is something that you have to work a little bit and today, uh, so work a little bit work on today uh, and rangi. So these three words rangi, today, pungwa. This needs a little bit of work. And this uh, you're pronouncing as yonten, which uh, is not entirely wrong, but try to make the sound a little less, less uh, emphasized. So instead of yonten, it should be yonten. Yonten. Yes, yonten. Yonten. Yonten tena keokun. Yonten tena keokun. Madu pari rangitu. Madun Parian Ramnin Du Chitin Meto Kyanrin Yang Chitin Meto Kyanrin Yang Mwa Tinki Toshin Kor Mwa Tinki Toshin Kor Mwa Tinki Toshin Kor Tinki Mwa Tinki Toshin Kor Yes, so uh, right now Mwa was actually very wonderfully pronounced. So please uh, try to pronounce it in this way. So right now you pronounce it correctly. So a little work on this and a little work on this. And then this, uh, please pronounce this again. Madu. 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 Madu parian rani du. Madu parian rani du. Okay, so this is fine. And this is also uh, becoming much, much better. Yeah. So most of the sound, most of the sound are actually quite wonderfully pronounced. So just a little bit of practice and I think the pronunciation will be much better. So these two words, uh, a little bit work, but the rest are wonderful. Lasso, so Again, thank you. Lasso, so uh, now uh, I will move to the translation and uh, so we have this uh, class we have the class tomorrow so we'll have consecutive class this week because we want to uh, make sure that we finish in the time frame that we have set so we'll have our uh, lesson uh, eight uh, tomorrow so therefore who would like to so is there anyone here uh, excuse me is there anyone here who hasn't read who have who has not read uh, till now do we have anyone who hasn't read till now and wants to read tomorrow after me? Do we have anyone who wants to read after me tomorrow? First, those who haven't read. Uh, so, do we have someone? Uh, who would like to read after me tomorrow? I thought I had someone. Uh, do we have someone who would like to read tomorrow after me uh, for tomorrow okay. class? Lasso. So, so I haven't read until now. Ah, Lasso. Uh, so yeah. may I know your name? Nadia. Lasso Nadia. Lasso Nadia. So tomorrow you will be reading after me. Yes. Lasso. Okay, now then I'll move to the translation uh, in English and then this verse. So first we are going with the translation by, uh, the, uh, by John T. Devonport, uh, the book that we're using, uh, we're referring to for English translation. So uh, in this it states, so here I will first read the Tibetan. 
So this is translated as when a person possesses good qualities, others spontaneously gather around. The fragrant flower may be distant, but bees are drawn like gathering clouds. So this is the translation and what it actually means. So I'll just do a brief explanation. It means that uh, a person who has, uh, who, who is a vault of good qualities, who have so many good qualities within them, who is a great scholar and who is also someone very well, well mannered. So uh, when we talk about good quality, so both manners and education comes in. So those who are, who have the vault of knowledge and uh, good, good manners, uh, those who are uh, who have good manners, these people, even though even though they don't go uh, telling other people, uh, come to me, I will do this, I will teach you this or anything, or you come to me and uh, I will do this for you or that. If even though they may not do those things, other people gather around them sp spontaneously, meaning that without any effort, people gather around that person who has uh, these good qualities. So a scholar is like a flower. Uh, is scholar to other people is like a flower, a fragrant flower to a bee, meaning that it, the people, when they, when they understand someone to be great scholar, someone to have great knowledge, they will make sure that they take time, they make time, so that they can be aligned in alignment with that person. So to be with that person uh, for either learning something or to uh, listen to their teaching. So therefore, those great scholars uh, with their great uh, qualities, when they have great qualities, they do not need to tell others to come, come. I have great quality. Come and study under me. You'll also become great. No. People will gather automatically, spontaneously around them. And this uh, Sakya Pandita is given, uh, this is the meaning of the uh, two, first two lines. The example is given as the fragrant flower may be distant. It doesn't matter if the flower is distant, meaning that the flower, it may be distant, but with the help of the wind, what happens is that his, uh, the, the, the fragrance of the flower spreads across the entire area that it blooms at the center of. Seeming, uh, and uh, equally, similarly, a scholar doesn't need to say, I have this, I have that quality. His quality are known by others and it spreads amongst people, just like the fragrance is spread by the wind the qualities of the scholar is spread by the, uh, by, the, by the people. So one person will tell to the other, other will tell to two, two will tell to four and uh, exponentially it will grow. So therefore we see that uh, like the fragrant flowers, which may be distant, which may be somewhere where uh, this, per, this uh, bee is far from, but when they smell the fragrance, when they smell this, when they have the when they smell the fragrance, they are they are drawn to that flower like a cloud gathering. So, so many bees would gather around that flower, forming a shape like a cloud. So, a cluster of bees, like a gathering of cloud, would form around them. So, here we see uh, the meaning and the example. Now, this is my take on the. Uh, on the translation. So if one possesses the good qualities, then every, everybody gathers around spontaneously. Even though the fragrant flower be afar, the bees like the gathering of clouds are drawn to it. So similar meaning. So just a, a preference of different structuring of words and different words, that's it. Okay, now the new words that we have for today's uh, verse. The first one is ring. Rangi means oneself or self. And the example statement is, per means statement as an example. Rangi ki kuenta yuende nikar tonang gueso. Which means one must be observant of one's, uh, one must be observant of both their good qualities 
of one's good qualities and faults. Not always, not always thinking about that their faults, because then if they do that, they will lose their uh, confidence if they only look at their faults. But not also looking only to their good qualities, forgetting about the faults, because then they will become arrogant. So in the balance, so one must observe both their good qualities and uh, have uh, uh, and rejoice for those good qualities and have gratitude for them. And then look at their faults and be motivated to work on those faults and be humble. So one should be observant of one's good quality as well as one's faults. Do or do means to assemble or gather. Sanki Rowana Champi Semki Duarcha. Buddha gathers the sentient beings with his loving kindness. So Buddha does not force anyone. Buddha does not have to uh, implement any uh, power over someone, conquer someone with power. He gathers everyone with his loving kindness. So everyone is drawn to Buddha with his because of his loving kindness. Which means fragrant flower. Uh, many fragrant flower bloom. Flowers bloom during the summer. Bloom or blossoms blossom during the summer. Yadu means summer. Ruo means a mountain. Uh, okay, so it seems that we need to add a little bit of yeah. Uh, So many uh, fragrant flower, uh, flowers bloom on the top of the mountain during the summer or summertime. You can say either. Yangling means afar, something that's at a very, that's at a distance. Lama Yangling Yurung, Damla Yinkar Though my Lama is afar, I bear his teaching in my mind. Bunga or bunga means bees. Pangjong meto tersa, pangjong meto tersa ru, bunga jinso khorshim khor. At the ground of vast treasure of flower, there is gathering of bees like the body of clouds. Jin, which means, uh, which means cloud. Jin ka bu sem me kyang, fujian ki dru dariyang me. Though I may not have a mind as wide as cloud, meaning that I might not have the most purest and the most uh, benevolent and the most uh, compassionate mind, like the white cloud, that my mind may not be free of all the stains. But I also am not like the venomous snake, which holds grudge towards others and bring others to their demise. So these are the new words for today. So in each class, we have around six, seven, six, seven. So in total, we'll have around 63 new words after we're done with the entire course. So those who are making sentence, keep making sentence and send them to me. I will send you the feedback. There are some recordings that you have sent. I will send the feedback either today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I will send you the uh, I'll send you the feedback. And uh, the other thing, uh, there are some recordings that needs to be done, which will be done, and then uh, it will be sent later. And some have already been sent. So I, uh, I believe that many of you have already observed. Uh, there have been some recordings which have already been sent. Uh, so uh, listen to them and uh, make sure that you'll study the pronunciation accordingly. Okay, now before we uh, end with the verse of devotion, uh, does anyone have any questions regarding today's lesson? Any questions regarding today's lesson? Be it about pronunciation, be it about meaning. So it seems that there are no questions. If you have any question, make sure that you post them uh, in the uh, group or directly to me. Uh, the other thing, if you all are making sentence, make sure that you send it to me. So before we end today's class, let me recite this verse of dedication. And then after that, uh, 
uh, we will most wonderfully uh, complete today's class. Okay, so Gewa Ti Nyoto Dawsona. Sherab Chambe and Rab Rumni. Sherab Hesse Chokun. A Chokun Latrin. Sherab Timin and Lakopa Show. So this verse of dedication, it means that with the with the with the merits that has been accumulated by all of us here, may all of us be able to achieve the perfect a state of Manjushri, the stainless perfect state of Manjushri, and may the wisdom light, may the wisdom rays and light shine upon all the directions. And may all of us be delivered to the stainless land of the Vimala. So this is the verse of dedication. So uh, with this, uh, we most wonderfully complete today's class, lesson seven. Those of you who are joining me for the reading class, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Those who are joining me for the grammar class, I will see you on Friday. Uh, for the revision, uh, and that would be the final class uh, of uh, regarding the syllabus that we have covered uh, for this semester. And those who are joining me for the both, I will see you tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining in, and I hope all of you have a wonderful morning, noon or afternoon, wherever you are. So and thank you, and I'll see you for the next class.